Extending the Link's seventh project was inspired by the story of Saw Christopher, a member of the Kren community. Chris's story reminded us that social justice stories don't just take place a world away. We dedicate this project to him. Extending the Link is made of a group of passionate undergraduate students who seek to document undertold social justice issues. This year, the ETL team focused on the topic of refugees. According to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, a refugee is someone who, owing to a well-founded fear of being persecuted for reasons of race, religion, nationality, membership of a particular social group or political opinion, is outside the country of his nationality and is unable to, or owing to such fear, is unwilling to avail himself of the protection of that country. One such group of refugees that extended the link chose to highlight are the Karen. This topic deeply matters to us because the Karen are woven to the fabric of the community in which we also share, and their lived experiences reveal similarities with the all too common suffering of refugees worldwide. Through a year of research and 21 days in Thailand, the ETL team was given a glimpse into this story. However, what we have to offer is far from complete. We faced a variety of challenges, but despite that, we are able to show a small segment of the Karen experience. We want to be clear, the story of the Karen is not our story, nor is it an easy story to tell. However, it's an important story, one that deserves to be told. The story begins in Burma, also known as Myanmar, a country in Southeast Asia. As a result of decades-long conflict, much of the Karen population has been displaced and are currently living as refugees in Thailand, the United States, Australia, and elsewhere, or as internally displaced persons still within Burma. Owing to a complex backstory featuring colonization, war, and genocide, the Karen refugees in Thailand are confined to several closed camps in what constitutes one of the most protracted displacement situations in the world. I came directly to Minnesota. Um, I remember what, the first place where I stayed was um, at a friend house. It was in the basement. It was me, my brother, my parents, and then my grandma. Like we didn't even know the person, and so um, we were like so we were really lucky for them to like open their open their house for us. Um, my family and I we came to New York, Buffalo, New York first, but we lived in a, like a small apartment, but there wasn't any other Quran around us so we didn't really have that support system and when my dad heard that there were Quran families living in St. Paul we took the Greyhounds and we came here <laughs> We have, we can go, everyone go, we got a uh, place, nice place, and I got a job, have some <laughs> money, and then I can drive around, go to a restaurant, uh, you know, there's a lot of all good things here, and even if I want to go to school, I can go anytime. For me, is, uh, I love Minnesota, but the only one day is uh, not the same like our country. It's the weather, it's different, you know, the same thing, so it's going to be very difficult. เอมิเลลิพอเดเพยยิซาวลุนนี่เดอีฮิปุโกโพเนติสซูบากะวะเคเดโกวอเดโปเพนิติชีเซนิมินิมิติชิลุนนี่เดเปฮิปุโกโพ
Chitabe Cotta Bay with a pair, the hell pink in Nivera, Kinney Black, a poet, any black, the Kikani, Itamaro Nomia or Imalura. Bala Mila Basara, Wakali Wagano, the Velet and Napura, where the Alula or Muti that the war won it a long mamma. I had lots of Lumulipala, Oti, Don Baco, a cage, and the Omaya Wadalino. The biggest challenge is obviously, you know, the language and the culture itself. So um, most of the people who come here, they have big like culture, culture shock because it's so different from our culture. Also when you first come, you may not know how to flush a toilet, to use the stove, or what's a refrigerator. Uh, even um, some of my more well-educated refugees, they don't know how to use an oven. What's an oven for? What do you do with it? Um, so there's just so many new things to learn. So many. And again, you're doing it in another language, in another culture. The first I came, I cried day by day, night by night. And if I, because when we're new here, everybody has to go through a hard life here because they had to set up the new life. Everything is new that they never been before. So it's very hard. Don't know how to get help and they don't, where you feeling, you don't have anywhere to open up. บ่กบ่เคเดโกซีอะนี่มีเวลาบ่ตะกลิเลยเค้าเนี่ยเอาไว้ที่กูเนี่ยชื่อเราก็บูตะตีแล้ววะเนาะเค้าเราได้ตั
ก็มันนี่เนี่ยไปให้ต่อไปเกิดออกมาก็บักให้ได้กว่านี้มีอะไรที่ทุกคนเนี่ยพวกเราเนี่ยเราลุกพากันลุกพากันลุกกูว่า
Day life in refugee camps are, uh, uh, as I mentioned before, they have a school. So uh, every day, uh, most of the, uh, the young people go to school. Oh, uh, they have uh, like uh, primary, secondary, and post camp in the camp, and then some potential potential uh, student they have a uh, chance to uh, uh, go in further study uh, in uh, Thailand. In, in a university in Thailand, but uh, those are very special <laughs> students. Well, put that in the honey. Go away, but you poor Malura, pay for other seed of the Malura Sunya Han and Dakota Roma. You are the Oliver, Harad Plover, or the Buddha Sai Saho, Atasasa, not the Buddha Sihan Sai Saho. ดีโลดอพอแกตะกอดแกนเฮาแกตะกอดแกนมีอะไรไลค์ยูอะคนนี่เดบเตเลตะกูบากูซีนี่มีตาเลอะลูดอพุยโดเลอพอดีโฟซ
for the Fusan, uh, for the refugee people. I don't, we don't want to be a refugee people. We don't want to be a refugee status here forever. So it's not good for our new generation. It's not good for our now situation here. Everything not good here to be a refugee. So one day, the, uh, I believe that the, the uh, politicians in Burma will, be, will change. So one day we believe that we will go back to our homeland. Actually, we, we want to go back now. ตอนเย็นเซมูลาเลยเย็นพอเย็นดีเย็นโลเย็นลาละกันนี่นี่อู้เสร็จแล้วเลยอากาศเราเว้ยตอนนั้นก็สิ่งเนาะเปิ้
So I want our people free through our voice and our friend voice. You know, your voice. We need your support, your voice to free our people.